After Midnight in the world of late night shows. We're the Blue Bubble, and all the other shows are Android. <laughs> Let's meet tonight's panelists. You know him from Platonic on Apple TV. It's actor and comedian Vinny Thomas. <laughs> Hi there. Uh, I'm Vinny Thomas. I'm a 90s kid, a 1790s kid, and Taylor Tomlinson is a witch. <laughs> and you know her as Taryn from The Righteous Gemstones. It's comedian and actor Maggie Winters. <laughs> My name is Maggie Winters, and just like the Maggie Winters show on CBS in the 90s, I'm here to get canceled after one season. <laughs> He's an actor, writer, and comedian you know as the star of NBC's La Brea. It's Jack Martin! I'm the hottest person here. <laughs> After Midnight starts now! <laughs> okay, panelists, tonight you'll all be playing for this massive teddy bear. Yeah. That I won at a carnival. I was so happy when I won it, and it immediately became a burden. <laughs> let's put him back on this hook. That's sad. <laughs> so let's start with the stories people are talking about on the internet today. It's time for group chat. Panelists, <laughs> buzz in with your jokes, and if you hear this noise, you get 100 points. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Moms, we love them, and we love to prank them. <laughs> Yesterday was April Fool's Day, and one daughter pranked the crap out of her old lady by placing this sign on the back of her car. Honk and flip off my mom, April Fool's prank. Let's just say mom got pretty pissed. Why is everybody honking at me? That guy just gave me the damn finger. What did I do? Oh, jerk ass. What the It's bizarro day. I gotta get home. Maybe the world's ending and we don't know it. Maybe something's going on and they're trying to tell us. <laughs> I'm so insane. She's an icon. Yeah. What the c indeed, jerk ass? She literally <laughs> thought the world was ending. So, panel, what are some other things moms might mistake for a sign of the apocalypse? <laughs> Maggie. Uh, for my mom, uh, the world ended when I became a comedian <laughs> and didn't go to business school. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Relatable. Relatable. Vinny. For any mother, uh, the world ends when she has a son who is just a little too skinny. <laughs> and it's opposite for the daughter. <laughs> Jack. Uh, for the Karens, I think it's interracial marriage. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I don't it's <laughs> Be careful, a lot of Karens watch this yeah. show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It seems like they're rebooting everything these days. Movies, TV shows, comedy shows that look like game shows. <laughs> Sorry about that. And now boats. Australian billionaire Clive Palmer, because you can't be anything else with a name like Clive Palmer, <laughs> is working on a replica of the Titanic, creatively named Titanic 2, <laughs> that he says will be anti-woke and vaccine-free. <laughs> yeah, because that's what took down the Titanic before. <laughs> Vaccines. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the best thing we got from the first Titanic was the Oscar-winning movie. I can only assume this will lead to an amazing sequel. So, panelists, what's a quote from the anti-woke movie Titanic 2? <laughs> Vinny. I'm flying Jack. Just kidding. A lady pilot? Can you imagine? <laughs> Jack. I'm king of the world! And like all kings, I'm white. <laughs> Maggie. In this one, instead of getting on the boat first, the women and children die. <laughs> Equality, <laughs> finally! Yeah, finally! So Let's go, girls. <laughs> what did you say to me, a woman? Nothing. <laughs> exactly. I'm not, I'm not Clive. <laughs> TV news is hard. There's facts, there's conjecture, there's reading. It's a whole thing. And for the news show 60 Minutes, there's even more challenges, like this last week when they interviewed a current FBI agent who needed to have her identity disguised in order to speak out. Luckily, the producers were totally up to the job. One of them is Carrie. <laughs> we're disguising her and not using her last name because she's still an FBI agent working in counterintelligence. 
Do you know if her wig got away with it? <laughs> like, do you know if the wig <laughs> got justice? Like, was it sent to The Hague for how, <laughs> how it looked? You have many points Thank for you. that. I think because it ended up on the show, no. It did not. Okay. Yeah. It goes like Edna Mode. I would, I would, yeah. She looks like Republican Edna Mode. Yes. I don't know. Edna Mode running for no, Edna no. Mode would never. She wants, to be, she wants to be Edna Mode real bad, but she's like Edna Median, Edna Median. Yeah. Yeah. She's not quite there. <laughs> Panelists, I guess blonde wigs aren't fooling anyone, so what are some other ways 60 Minutes could disguise this witness? Vinny. I would cover this FBI agent in the thick, rich milk of the walrus, which is opaque, <laughs> and could certainly cover any of her facial features. It's incredibly rich because of the cold climate in which they live. And how do you points, know? Points, yeah. points, 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 points. I learned a lot. Thank you. Wow. There's so many facts, Vinny. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't know what happens. I just come on the show. Why do you know out. that? There's no reason for it, but if something were to come up, like someone puts a weapon to my head and they say, say something about a walrus, like, I'll know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do walruses have milk? Yeah, they're mammals. So they have milk. Then why uh, can't I put it in my coffee? <laughs> Hey, I think it should be an option. T, 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 say that. Slay. <laughs> People used to say, if it's not Boeing, I'm not going. But they're all dead now. Rest, the Amer <laughs> Rest in peace. Yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> I can say that. I fly all the time. <laughs> the American plane manufacturer was torn apart this year, literally, when a door blew off mid flight. Now TikTokers are noticing another controversial feature of the planes, class warfare. <laughs> yeah, business class seats now directly face economy and coach. So panel, as someone from the upper crust, make small talk with the poor. <laughs> Jack, first of buzz in. Look at me, look at me, look me in the eyes. You're below me. <laughs> I'm, I'm freaking out. I know, that was... <laughs> I'm not comfortable. It's almost too good. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it was real. <laughs> I actually loved your work in Oliver Twist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Penny. for mine, you have to imagine I'm much older. <laughs> right. What do you do for work? Are you a fishmonger? <laughs> no? Then explain that smell. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is the accent? Uh, elderly, uh, it's you in 52 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for the longest time, we were asking ourselves, what if the Founding Fathers rapped? And then we were introduced to this guy, Lin-Manuel Miranda. <laughs> This past week, the Busta Rhymes of NPR was introduced to an even more theatrical, dramatic group of people, the fans of WWE. Wow, I bet those wrestlers are shaking in their boots right now. Comedians give upper middle class suburbanites what they want and deliver a wrestling call out in the form of a Lin Manuel rap musical. <laughs> Maggie. I'm gonna kill you in the ring and then I'm gonna sing. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Respectable. Thank you so much. Jack. I'm Alexander Hamilton. I'm Alexander Hamilton. Please do not hit me. Please do not hit me. Please do not hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Vinny. Best get oh. ready to face your fears. I rap like a cartoon mouse on the verge of tears. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think that was Lin Manuel. That oh, was. Close, oh! oh my God. <laughs> you got to give him more points. Oh, you're right. Give Vinny yeah, more points. That you. was incredible. He's winning by too much now. Can I have yeah, a Yeah, I, I, re I regret what I just, just said. Even the, really? but, okay, let's give Maggie and Jack both 100. <laughs> yes. I feel yes. Bad. yes! Yes! Give them Thank some points. Vinny's obviously going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Live from New York, it's a go time? According huh. to one TikToker, yes.
Am I the only person who's ever noticed that SNL has never hired a like hot woman? And I want to be clear, I'm not saying that every single woman who has been a cast member of SNL is ugly. It's just that none of them have ever been like hot. This terrible video has been making the rounds. Several SNL cast members weighed in. Sarah Squirm said, just found out I'm not hot? Please give me and my family space to grieve privately and ugly at this time. Yeah. I can't speak for others, but I will say that our show, After Midnight, strives for inclusivity. And we've had many hot people on this show. <laughs> Comedians Maggie. buzz in and name one. <laughs> Maggie. Um, Angelina Jolie or uh, Jennifer Aniston. They're both really beautiful. So yeah. Like no, they haven't done our show yet. Oh. No. Try again. <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, Vinny? Lupita Nyongo has done. No. No. No, she hasn't done the show. Uh, Timothy Chalamet? No. No, we've just made fun of him a lot. <laughs> Vinny? Tyra. Tyra Banks. No. From America's no. No, no, no. That's a different show. Uh, Any again? Uh, uh, what, uh, Bernie Mac's wife. What was the name of Bernie Mac's wife on the Bernie Mac show? Bernie Mac's wife? I don't know, but it, no. No. <laughs> uh, the reserved and refined beauty of Michael Caine? We'll see if they can name one hot person who's been on the show by the time we get back from commercial. After midnight, we'll be right back. <laughs> Want more? Follow After Midnight on TikTok. Oh!